That's no humbuck. That is a wide one. Let's look at that. I'm telling you, if you have another one that's this wide and has a nine frame, we are going to be effed to right. try to find that deer. Right. What do you say? We found him. <laughs> that was a long way for a deer not dead. <laughs> He's laying with uh, two bucks and a doe. The deer's fine. It looks like he may have hit in front of the shoulder a little high. Got a pass through, but it's just not a hit that's going to kill him. You are so full of <laughs> You're my last hope, man. Yeah. So Mike, uh, Monday noon to now is 48 hours. Yeah. Stuff on the ground. The deer is dead. I really hope we find this thing. Woo, there's a nice deer. Trying to keep up with the phone calls. I knew it's gonna be busy this week for some reason. So we started the day with just one drone search and uh, the calls just keep coming in. The signal is so bad we have to be parked here in order just to get the calls. They're coming in quicker than what we can do them and it looks like it'll be another really full day. So back to the grind. That call was the guy that uh, we just found the deer for. He went over to that other pad that was close to where the deer was, and he said they put the binocs on the deer, and he said they could 100% see where he shot the deer, high and in front of the shoulder. Just the exact same info that the drone was telling us, but they wanted to see it from the ground. So they put eyes on him, and he's chasing a doe. So he's good to go. Let me give you guys the scoop on this. This guy, was notified by somebody through our Instagram that he needs to call us. He hit this deer on Sunday, right? Monday, they still, he was still alive. He has two arrows in the deer. At this point, he believes that the deer is dead. They grid searched the whole thing. They brought a dog in again or something. And he's like, you know what? We're gonna give drone deer recovery a chance on finding this deer. If we find this deer, it will be the longest after the shot recovery that we've done. Monday so it'd be to Tuesday night is 24. Okay. So Wednesday morning is 30, 30 36. 36. Which is not unheard of. If he's dead and he's in the area and he has thermals, we'll find him. I don't know how long it'll be till he gets here. The buck's probably right here. You see the buck rubs? Those rubs on the tree? That's called a buck rub. The camera guy is in a hunter and I'm educating him. So come over here and I'll, I'll tell you, feel it and then you smell it. And this is about a three year old buck that did this. You are so full of <laughs> What do you mean? Smell it, you, you smell the deer. Get down there. I mean, obviously it's rough. <laughs> You're not gonna smell how old the deer yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, no, I would've gone with the two-year-old. <laughs> but I could see it could've been a three, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> 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 I'm Mike. Eric. Nice, nice to, meet, to you, Eric. meet you, man. Yes. Uh, literally right over here was where we found the last blood, literally right in this little high grass right there. So okay. we're thinking he went out that way. He was in a bed over here for probably 26 hours, and we tracked him with a tracking dog, jumped him, backed out, came back the next day, and then that's when we picked up the track, found the last blood there, I and see. then the dog took us down there. So we're thinking he didn't go up this huge hill here. We're thinking probably somewhere out there or that he crossed over. Yeah. It's almost like a like a bench that runs this whole this whole way out here. So I'm I don't think he went up this big so, hill. So you don't think we're going right, we're gonna go that way and then after we can't find there. Yeah, I'm thinking left because okay. we grid searched a lot of this and Yeah. 
and find him. So you're my last hope, man. Yeah. Yeah, I shot him. It would have been Sunday, right around 10 o'clock. He was coming under my stand. Yeah. 8 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he was like, it was crazy because I hit him with a, a grunt. He turned and I hit him with an estrus call. And then I hit a couple tending grunts after that. And he just turned and, and was smashing a scrape, came right up to me. Real big mainframe 10 point. I've been after this deer literally all season. This is my fourth encounter oh, no. with him. Yeah. So, you know, and it was on public at the time. Obviously now we're on private. I had to knock on a bunch of doors to get here, but I shot him one time. Fortunately, was straight down shot, shot back far on him. I knew right away it was probably in the guts. He went to about 40 and was able to get another arrow in him. And I think it snuck in right behind here and up through. And after that, I mean, he was gone. And he was gone to down to that first bed that I was telling you about. Yeah. How how far from here was your first shot? From here, uh, probably about seven 750 yards. Uh, yeah. So, Mike, uh, Monday noon to now is... 48 hours. Yeah. It's doable. That's Do you have a picture of this deer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at this deer. That's so, a nice deer. Oh, my gosh. So I hope we find that it. Was the arrow. That was the first arrow. Got, and then you can see, like, the guts yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff on the ground. The deer is dead. You see that green stuff? Green stuff. That's guts. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's yeah. guts right there. A here. deer can't survive that because uh, a gut shot poisons them. Oh, back. look at the deer. He, oh, my he was just. Oh, that, yeah. So that was the first shot, and then he goes down into there. Right about 40 yards. Oh, that's fine, this deer. Oh, please, man. You're my last one. <laughs> It's like, if he was hurting that much to lay there for 20-some hours, That's what I mean. you'd think he wouldn't have went far, you know? You wouldn't think. So you, you guys grid searched this hillside yeah. yesterday? Yep, I was out all day. I took like a hour or two break, and then I came back. We had that sleet, and oh, yeah. I was frozen by the time I got out of here. My only fear is, man, I hope somebody didn't snag them like down along the creek because there's house. You know what I yep, mean? Yep, yep, yep. Could have easily happened. Even if they're not deer hunters, a big buck, they still are going to take it. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think of that. Man, I, I really hope we find this thing. This will be a serious feat if we do. Woo! Nice heavy eight. That's how big it is. Where's that back up here? It's right there. That's that big eight that I saw before him. Runs right over there. If we would guess where he crossed. Yeah. So, I mean, he crossed, he came, he, he came across this road right here, and then like right down over the hill right here. That's where the tracking dog took us to and kind of lost the scent around that area. Can you tell by looking at this, like where you? Yeah, so yeah, right there is about where dog lost that trail. So he could have went across. Yeah, there's just so shit in many houses if he did actually die in, in the backyard. So now is that kind of quiet time where Mike and the hunter are just in the truck canvassing the area back and forth, back and forth, searching all the surrounding woods. Um, this hunter really wants to find this deer. He's like, Man, you guys are my last chance. I got a dog out. I tracked it. I spent a whole day out here, you know, chasing the blood until the rain washed it away. It's the biggest deer I ever shot, and I want to find it so bad. So, um, really hoping that we can uh, find it for him. 
Not good. 27 minutes. No deer that are dead. Just, uh, I mean, we're finding bucks and finding live deer. Not, not a dead deer. How much of the area have you seen this? I looked at a bunch already. So every, everything that has the white lines, I've been past already. Usually if I go over uh, 20 minutes, I start being like, oh. <laughs> We're finding deer and bucks, let me tell you. We're just not finding the buck. Another buck, jeez. There's a bunch of bucks around here. Yeah. Woo, there's a nice deer. Yeah, I know that's not him because his horns almost wrap around and touch yeah. the front. That's an eight-pointer that we were just looking at. Uh, I think we're gonna have to at least check up there just to make sure yeah. that he's not up there. Comfortable saying he's not here. Yeah. Um, See, the tracking dog went down there, but then it did pull him out and around, but he went up there. He went up to the top and said it was a live doe up there that he thought she was running, so. Not promising. I was hoping the first Two to four hundred yards, we find the deer because if it goes over eight hundred to a thousand yards, chances of it finding them when they're that far out, a lot less. What are our chances at this point? Uh, twenty percent. You know, my biggest chance of finding it was in that two to four hundred yard range. And I got that covered good. The only other thing we don't know is, you know, is the deer still holding thermal? I believe he is, but there's no guarantee on that. I've never done, you know, research where I went out and killed one and then, and then wait it till the thermals left. I mean, we covered some serious area. I found a lot of deer. We're about out behind here. So yep, I'm up top. Oh, you're up top now? Yeah, there's deer up top, but live deer. Most of these are doe. No doe. No buck. Another doe. That's, that's just freaking, uh, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda if, if you woulda known about me. Oh, dude, and I know, man. We woulda, you wouldn't have brought that dog in here. You wouldn't have jumped the deer. Yeah, I, yeah. And you woulda known where he's at, and then you woulda gave him time and then just got and get, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, came up in here and got him. Sometimes you learn the hard way, I guess, but yeah, nonetheless. It's... Yep, yep. Uh, I had hope. I, I uh, looked behind these houses down here mm -hmm. in between the road there. I went up this road, up that mm -hmm. valley, down the other side. So I went up the ridge, yeah. down the valley, on this side, down the ridge, curled around, then came back behind. I went on the back side, found some deer down here. Went even farther down, all the way down to the power lines. I don't know where else to look. Somebody picking that deer up is about a 89 percent chance yeah if they see him yep yeah. because if you come home from work and you look out back and you see a, a belly laying up there yeah. you're gonna go check it out yeah, exactly and it's, yeah it's pretty easy to see for the most part yep and if any of these people are hunters, they're watching for stuff like that. That sucks. It does suck. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Nikes. We looked at a lot of stuff. Lots of deer. Just not his buck. He, he brought up a valid point about all these houses down here. Could have easily come home and seen a white belly on the hillside and be like, hey, there's a buck. And went up and got him and now we're looking for a deer that isn't even here. <sighs> oh, he's down. 
because he, he didn't find his deer, but now I'm down because I didn't find your deer. I feel you, man. Oh, this is all I really like to do, man. I live for this, and a lot of the land I hunt is public. Oh, yeah. So, and you nice. know, I really hold off for the nice ones. And What kind of work do you do? I'm a police officer over in Wheeling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Nice. Yep. Doggone it, dude. Well, we searched for that deer for a, a while. Um, started getting down after about 25 minutes not finding it, but still kept pushing and pushing, pushing farther out looking. Found more and more deer. And it's just, it got to the point where you gotta, you, you know, you gotta quit at some point. And I didn't want to quit, but I had to. So didn't find it. I'm a little down, but can't stay here because I got three more that I'm supposed to go look for. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.